Hey YouTube, it's Alex again. I'm um, making my second video today. Um, so I'm mainly just making a video to ask some questions um, about how your body is after miscarrying. Um, I've never been pregnant before. This is my first miscarriage. And um, so some weird. Um, I'm basically still feeling very pregnant. Um, this. Um, everything's gotten more intense, which I don't understand. Um, you would think it starts to go away or stay the same, but it's gotten yeah, worse for me, and I'll tell you why, and, like, why I think that's intense. Um, when we got to Oregon on the 15th, um, that day, right when I walked in, I could smell the spaghetti, um, the special spaghetti that my mother-in-law makes, which is very good, and the smell instantly got to me, and, uh, it bothered me just a little bit, and then, uh, and then up to, like, last week, um, Christmas and all, everything, um, we were on, last Tuesday, we started making cookies, and the cinnamon really, really, really got to me. It made me feel really sick. I was complaining a lot. So I was feeling that my in-laws were getting annoyed at me because I was complaining about smells. And, um, so that really got to me. It really made me nauseous, actually. I, I had to go lay down because that's how sick that, that smell made me. And I've never had cinnamon bother me before. So, um, another thing, um, my husband, my Clone on, I feel like like I need to get out of the room so I can have fresh air. Ugh. And he just made like this muscle drink and he made it like a little far away from me and I could smell it and it smelled wrong. Um I asked for deviled eggs for Christmas. That was one of my requests. And my mother in law makes great deviled eggs. She made them for my wedding and they were so good. Um, I asked her to make them for me, and, um, she made them, and I saw that there was no pepper on it, so I accidentally poured a whole bunch of pepper onto it, and, and I, I, I ate it anyway, and it instantly made me vomit, and I'm like, ah, oh, pepper, ugh. So, um, I took another one, another egg, ate it, and it tasted the same, and I didn't even put pepper on it, and it tasted just as bad, and I gagged it up and sped it out into the garbage can. Disgusting. And then I just talked to my husband about it and they said that they ate eggs and they tasted perfectly fine to them. So, I don't know. Um, so, um, today I was having some stretchy feelings in my, in my uterus area, so I don't understand that. Um, I'm not really cramping, I just can feel like a little twinges. Um, and then I'm noticing that I'm like slim. TMI, 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 TMI. I'm really like wet down there. And, um, it, I was so wet down there that I went in the bathroom to wipe and there was pink. It was very... It was clear, but it was, had a pink hint to it, and that, I, that really startled me, and I think that's mainly why I'm making this video. I'm asking you girls out there that have had miscarriages, is this, this mm. is normal? I stopped the bleeding up to five days ago, so, um, I haven't bled since. Um, my bleeding felt like a normal period, um, except my my uh, cramps were a lot more str stronger, and I took, like, um, Advil for, like, three of them, and that helped pain. My, the ER doctor prescribed me Vicodin and everything, but I didn't pick it up because I didn't, I didn't want to take Vicodin. I just okay, didn't yeah. want to take medication, like, if I had a feeling that maybe there's a possibility that, like, I'm one of those few females that bleed during a pregnancy. Um, I know that my my husband's aunt bled every month, and she had a very healthy baby. So they kept telling my husband, like, wouldn't let it go. And he's like, there's still a chance that you're pregnant. There's still a chance. But 
this week, I mainly bought the test to, to help him, to reassure him and say, honey, there's, you know, there's no pregnancy. So, um, I got two pregnancy tests, the false one, and I took that. God, I don't remember when I took those. Like, three days, or, um, like seven days ago, a week ago? I don't remember. Wow, I don't, I should have remembered that. But anyways, um, so now I'm having pink coming out, and, uh, I'm, my mucus is really stretchy. So I don't know if I'm ovulating, I don't know what's going on. I, my body's all messed up from what happened. So can you guys just please email me and tell me your guys' advice, what you think it is? I, I don't know. I asked my sister and she didn't really have anything to say. Yeah. So, um... <sighs> and I wanted to say thank you to everyone that has commented my last video letting you guys know about the miscarriage. Um, it means a lot and it's the same. Sorry that I haven't replied to any of the comments, but now I'm on here making this video saying thank you so much. It means a lot to me. And, um, I'll probably do, we'll make videos of my pregnancy, but not post them until way later. So, um, I'm going to get off here now. Um, I hope I didn't forget anything, but yeah, I feel very pregnant, and the smells are intensifying, and my nauseousness is intensifying. I keep feeling like I'm going to puke, but I, I haven't yet. I just gagged up the, the deviled eggs that tasted horrible. So, um, okay. Oh yeah, and I'm more tired. Way more, way more tired, and, um, my appetite has been up and down. I'm really hungry or I'm not hungry at all. But I am always thirsty now. So, um, I don't know. So, okay, have a happy New Year's and I'll make another video if something big drastic happens. Maybe. Okay, good night.